Sonic. You couldn't ask for a better backdrop to hand out some X Games hardware. This is Women's BMX Park here on the Sonic Park course. He's actually got an Instagram group called Mind Tricks, which is an outlet for athletes to share stories about mental health. Started riding when she was 11 to help curb her anxiety. Yeah, it was really wild. They, her parents used to drive her around in a RV, and they would travel and go to all these like little events and take her to places, and then she finally got an airplane. And yeah, and look at her. She's a world traveler. She's done it all. I mean, she's competed all over the world. And uh, just over the years, her riding, it, it, it's getting better every every time I see her. Like, I mean, she's constantly going higher. She's got more tricks. She's got different trick combinations. I mean, I think she is such a well-rounded rider. I mean, I think she's at the top when you go over, like, all the other female riders. You have the tricks. You have the style. You have the ability to push through and bring the power to the chorus. And I think she is so evenly matched across the board. Yeah, I remember in like 2017 or 2018, she was doing fly out backflips and now she's doing flip combos over the boxes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really good run though right there. Look at the support that they're getting from the fans here with day one on the grandstands on the edge of the Sonic Park course here. As we take another look here at Nikita's first run. Yeah, sending that 360 over the box. But look at that, tuck no hander over that hip, you know, spreading those arms. She is making it picture perfect right there. Reno, Nevada's Paris Benega. She's known for that flowy style. She likes to go big. Let's see what she can do here on the Sonic Park course. Paris jumping the box backwards. And that's scary in the wind right there too. Oh yeah. Ooh, that was a really nice can-can transfer. Well, look at that wow. transfer, followed up back, back to back transfer lines there. Good height, had some good flow. You know, the, uh, doing a wall ride on that Sonic sign is not easy because the um, Sonic actually sticks out. It's not completely flat, so. Yeah, that's a nerve-wracking thing. You want your tires to be pressed up against a wall, and when the letters are sticking out like that, uh, judges are definitely taking note of that. But look at the speed she's bringing around. I mean, Angie, you've known her forever at this point. You've been riding with her over the years. Like, every skate park she shows up to, she rides like this, doesn't she? She's so powerful. That pocket air was amazing. Yeah, this one's been a long time coming for me, too, because I used to live in Reno, and she used to go to my friend Gabe Weed's skate park, Open Ground, and the first time we saw her show up, she was riding with a pack of boys. She was like 10 or 11 years old. So to <laughs> see her now on the world stage, I mean, I'm, I'm so stoked for her. So cool. But here, you can see a look right here on that wall ride. Those, those letters are sticking out, but yeah, no problem at all for her. She just pushed those wheels into it and landed it easily. The silver medalist from the Olympics, a five-time world champion known for big flares and bar spins. This is Hannah Roberts. Oh, truck driver straight off the rip right there. So the 360 combinations, uh, Hannah is no stranger to. Look at the wow. flare as well. I mean, she's been doing flares for years, Angie, and she's just getting so good at them, and she's landing with so much speed. Look at the speed she's carrying. I was going to say, the opposite carve that she did out of that, coming around that shallow end, I mean, just Ooh. flying out of there. Nice whip on the pool cope in that big quarter pipe right there, and she did it uh, a couple feet out of it as well, which is really scary. I think I filmed one of her first uh, flares back in 2014 at Toronto Jam, oh, so wow. it's amazing to see how far she's come with them. Oh, no doubt about it. But what a good run that Hannah just delivered. And this is the first of three runs too, so it's only gonna get crazier as they get more comfortable and more confident on the course. You know, these runs are so much different than what we're usually used to. Normally we ride like one minute runs and you get two runs. So for X Games, it's three runs at 45 seconds. Get our first official uh, X Games mode meter right there. Yeah, I think, I think the flare will do that. <laughs> to put her in that number seven position as of right now as we take our second look at Germany's Kim Mueller. She was in oh, the top spot. Wow. Oh, that was a big trick. She just upped it from run number one right there. She did the tire grab can can. That trick is no joke. Oh, she made it look so good too. <laughs> Say before that, before that happened, I was going to say she was in the top spot. She now finds herself in a bronze medal position. Look at the speed coming over. Um, you know, I, I've been seeing Kim do so many uh, three whips, and I'm really hoping that she pulls them oh, out this weekend. In the wind, it's so scary, though. But yeah, it's X, it's X Games, though. I wouldn't doubt it if she sent it. I mean, she does it so clean, though, when, when I've seen her do it on her Instagram. But look at all the tricks she's able to yeah, get. Squeaks that bar spin in right before the buzzer there. 
So an 84 flat the first go around. She's looking at the metal right now. Take a look at this. The can-can in the 360 with the tire grab. Like that was so good. That Three was six so good. I love how she's able to like turn the bike sideways and reach for it. And like, <laughs> if you watch her foot, her foot has been like consistently at the top of that sonic board. We still have round three to go. Macarena Perez from Santiago, Chile. She was in the top three. She's now just on the outside looking in, mm. sitting in that number four spot. One of the only ones to be blasting that little quarter yeah. in the middle. It, I thought it was weird. I was, I was looking at it yesterday, and it's not like a regular quarter pipe. It actually like flattens out almost like a bank towards the top of it. That big switch carve around that bowl corner. Nice tuck over it this time. Oh, and there's that awesome toboggan we saw on that replay in the first round. Yeah, she's just navigating her way around the course really well, and she's uh, finding like the awkward transitions and somehow airing them really good. Is that how it begins straight to pedals? And that's right at the end of the run. Another toboggan in there. She's still going. <laughs> yeah, she might not have heard the buzzer. <laughs> like I said, we're so used to doing a minute long, so. It feels weird, doesn't it, huh? 45 seconds probably feels so short. And here's that tuck over the box jump. Perfect. That is picture perfect right there. And here's that tail whip. And like Angie said, she's just finding them pedals. Easy. Easy as could be. Right now, you would have loved the breathing room, so she's going to have to nervously watch the rest of this unfold as we bring in Nikita Dukaro from Sonoma, California for her third and final run. And this is a rider that can definitely get on the podium. She has the tricks for it, Angie. I hope she gets that five this one. Yeah, that's going to be a huge story. If that 540 comes around and she's able to ride away from that one, oh, man, that is going to be absolutely huge. But so far, so good. She's landing everything so smooth. Like all the X ups that pop off of that uh, top deck into the box jump. She did the X up. But we are getting down to the moment of truth, I think, right? <laughs> down to the final 10 seconds. How is she going to approach this one? Okay, last couple of seconds, she's gonna have to get to it. And is it gonna make it around? Oh, she does! Oh, she's got yes. the 540! Oh, on the third and final run, when the pressure's on. Oh my goodness, Nikita what a Dukaro. moment. There's only a few girls in BMX doing 540 airs, so. Yeah. I love that it's such a staple for Nikita. And I love that she was able to bring it at the at the first ever X Games because she's been like known for 540. That's always been like Nikita's at the end of her run, like here comes the 540. <laughs> <laughs> and she was able to get it at the end. That I was mean, so epic. Literally, with one second left on the clock, <laughs> Salima Masakela and Jason Ellis love it over there on the host set. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what, why, what's up with our eyes? <laughs> that was insane. You're looking at Natalia Dean sitting in that sixth place spot. Her best outing here today, a 77 flat. Ooh, look at the air she is doing on that pool coping one. I love that she's getting that uh, tabletop nice flat. Really holding it up there, too. Picture perfect. Ooh, look at that tough no-hander air as well. Yeah, her air tricks. Oh, she's got wow. a flare. I was not expecting her to flare here. That was this perfect, run. too. Yeah, this run, she is really turning it up compared to the first runs. But that's what you got to do when you're on the outside of the podium. You need to take risks. And so far, it is paying off. Natalia is such a determined rider. She's had so much of a struggle with her knees. She's had so many knee surgeries and too many. That's six of them, including five ACL ruptures to that right knee over the course of her career. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that reaction just said it all. Wow, look at this flare. The slow-mo is so good from this angle. She landed like right in that transition. Front end was down, lean was right. <laughs> Earlier, I mean, just Hannah Gold from Halo Crown, you're weighing in on the chat as well. I mean, this has been a long time coming. It's incredible though, because you know what? I'm so excited to see where it's gonna go. This is seriously going to be such a big start for women's BMX and so much, a, so much of a push. 
I think we're going to see from this. And I want to also say Angie has been a crucial part of getting women's BMX seen and heard. And uh, I just want to thank you for putting all the effort in that you have over the years. Oh, thanks, Scotty. Uh, it's been an honor to have you in the booth to help us tell these stories, but we look forward to seeing you out there on the course uh, in the future. Hopefully next time. <laughs> So when it's all said and done, Hannah Roberts puts up a 90 flat in that first round, and it's good enough to hold up throughout this entire competition to net her the first ever Women's BMX Park X Games Gold. We send it down one more time to Kristen B. Hannah, taking this inaugural win, first of all, what does it mean to see women's BMX on this stage and even more so to take gold in this competition? I mean, women's BMX on this stage is insane. Uh, I remember when I was eight years old, I was watching X Games. It's one of the reasons I started riding. So to be here competing and, and winning the X Games gold is, is a dream of mine. And, and this has been absolutely insane. I had the best time with all my friends, so I couldn't ask for anything better. What do you want this win and this triumph to say to all the young girls at home watching like you were once? Man, just, if you, if you find something you enjoy, stick to it. This is, I mean, I'm living my best life out here riding my bike. And I mean, I, I legit don't feel like I've worked a day in my life because I love it so much. So you find something that you love, just stick to it and put your passion into it. It, it, makes, it makes a huge difference. Anna, congratulations, taking a monumental gold in women's BMX park at X Games. I disagree. I say she's been working her whole life to get to this moment right here. Did you know, by the way, that uh, August 10th in her hometown is Hannah Roberts Day? Just throwing that one out there. I didn't get to see that earlier on. Angie, as Scotty said earlier, it was an absolute pleasure having you in the booth here today. Thank you for joining us. Scotty, as always, it's a pleasure to be on this journey with you. That's a wrap for us. Hannah Roberts making history, walking away with the first ever out. women's BMX Park Gold.